So Trump allegedly has a new mistress slash advisor, and uh, they're getting awfully close. So let's see what, the, what the, this clip has to say about it. Our loomer is Exhibit A. The two seem to be rather inseparable lately, spending a lot of time together. That's her coming off his private plane. In addition to being his 9-11 guest, she accompanied Trump to Tuesday's debate in Philadelphia. She's been seen with him in his Bedminster Club. And her name has been on Trump's lips for much of this year. A friend of all of ours, and a wo I, this woman is amazing, Laura Loomer. Where is she? Where is Laura? She is amazing. A fantastic woman, a true patriot, Laura Loomer. Laura, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. It's great to have you, and you've been really very special. You work hard, and you are yeah, you are a very opinionated lady. I have to tell you that, and in my opinion, I like that. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate that. all of your support, and you've been terrific, and everybody appreciates you. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me to sit with you today. It's a pleasure. You're the best. I love you. It's a cute video. Like, they genuinely seem to really like each other. Now, many Republicans are expressing concern to reporters about Loomer's closeness to Trump, which you can see for yourself. Everyone who works for him thinks she's a liability, one Trump ally said. Others have told reporters that Loomer has contributed to some of the most outrageous conspiracy theories Trump is now using as campaign fodder. Now, even in the very large pantheon of Trump sycophants, Loomer is a chilling figure, a history of racist and Islamophobic comments. She first gained notoriety for uh, chaining herself to the door of a Twitter office in New York to protest the website banning her after she spread false conspiracy theories about multiple mass shootings. Before that ban, Loomer also tweeted hateful bile about immigrants, responding to a news story about thousands of migrants dying while trying to cross the Mediterranean to safety. She posted, quote, good clapping emoji, here's to 2,000 more. After Elon Musk bought Twitter, Loomer was, surprise, surprise, reinstated on the platform. That's where she called 9-11 an inside job last year, arguing that Donald Rumsfeld helped stage it to take over the national security bureaucracy. Twitter is also where this past summer, Loomer called Kamala Harris a drug-using prostitute. Around that time, as Donald Trump was praising her at rallies, what a patriot, Loomer also called for the death of Trump's perceived political enemies. I truly believe that the people who engaged in the coup against Donald Trump and have caused, you know, civil unrest and chaos in our country for the last seven years uh, through Crossfire Hurricane and also th through these uh, what I believe are illegal witch hunts against the president of the United States right now, unconstitutional witch hunts against Donald Trump. They are treasonous. They are traitors. They should get the death penalty when they are jailed in the next Trump administration. Death penalty in the next Trump administration. In advance of the debate last weekend, Loomer also tweeted that, and I quote her here, if Kamala Harris wins, the White House will smell like curry. That tweet is unhinged. Oh, man. There, there's, what is your take on her so far? There's so much here to unpack. I don't even know where to begin. So I'm going to work from back to the beginning of the video. First of all, that is an insanely thing to tweet about the current vice president of the United States mm -hmm. that the house is going to smell like curry if she wins. <laughs> but that that's whatever. More importantly, I think what kind of like confuses me is some of these far right wing uh, people's talking points saying that, oh, if Trump becomes president again, everybody that was against him needs to be uh would she say prosecuted or killed yeah she said so killed his, right yeah there should be get the death penalty but, okay yes yeah. okay so yeah you should get the death penalty because it's treasonous against america but then if i was to say oh if we're talking about treason against america what about everybody that participated in the civil war january 6th or you know that, insurrection or, i'm not even talking about january 6th no, i'm going no. back oh, like okay, okay. i'm talking about the civil fucking <laughs> war like the confederates like that was treason against America. Yeah. Like they planned to secede from America. Are we giving January sixth was pretty much like that too. It was, it was up there too. They had a whole mob. But I'm saying like, yeah, where does crazy. the line get drawn? Why is it? Can, why does it? It's treason when you don't like the it. The craziest part is mm -hmm. look at this. Either way, people are there's the allegations of her being his mistress, where we're about to get into later on this video too, where they're really close. But mm -hmm. let's, but he's saying she's his advisor, 
lately it seems like he may have cut ties. But right now we've heard that she's his advisor. Yeah. She's on his private jet flying with him as his advisor. And this person is tweeting out shit like the vice president is eating curry, is going to make the White House smell like curry. She's yeah. asking for the death of migrants, of, of people that uh, oppose him. This is like one of the most unhinged people that you could have possibly have in your platform. And it's just like everything's just the bar for Trump is so low that everything just gets like swept under the rug. But this isn't getting swept under the rug, though. Yeah, like, but it's like it's well, not. This is this isn't a big story. This is oh, just, okay. this is just like a small little. Uh, this that's is fair. A segment on MSNBC. Like, I mean, I, I you know what? That's fair. And I guess to your point, like you just said, the, the bar is so low. No, everybody's like, okay, this is yeah normal for him. And it, it maybe do you think it's because maybe he isn't intelligent enough and isn't really doing the due diligence? Because she's probably just stroking his ego, and that's all he. That's hears. it. That's it. He yeah. just whoever says whoever's on his side yeah. and and like kisses his ass the most, he's automatically gonna side with people like Elon Musk, people like her. That's like looking at you saw the clip they showed earlier. She was giving him the googly eyes, yeah. like like she was falling in love. So you know what's interesting <laughs> about that? Like um, and it's I don't think this is random, but a lot of people have said over time that Trump has imposter syndrome. And every time he's in these spaces with all these like wealthy billionaires, no one really respects him. Mm -hmm. So that's why he clings on to people so much that will give him even the slightest bit of homage. Yeah. I like he's not paying attention to any of the fucked up shit she says and how yeah. detrimental it is for his actual campaign. And, and anyone that's like slightly off his side, he won't, he'll just throw him under the bus. I mean, Taylor Swift, yeah, I about to say, Taylor yeah. Swift today, he tweeted out like what, what he's like, I, I hate Taylor yeah. Swift. I'm like, yo, what'd she do to you? Yo, so people were saying that, yeah. um, you know, even Swift, someone, he slid on him. Yeah. Even someone like Joe Rogan, who is, is pretty much like flirts with conservatism a lot. Yeah. He, he said he was going to endorse or he, he, he said something supporting RFK. He said he likes RFK more than Kamala yeah, and Trump. That, yeah. And then Trump tw tweeted, Trump tweeted out like something about him being like not liking him too. Like something I forgot the exact quote. Just but, an emotional yeah. like, adult. It's like, like if you say anything against this man, it's just yeah. automatically. That's like bus. one of the signs of a dictator. Like you can't say anything <laughs> yeah. negative about them or you're gone. It's Kim Jong Un level. And, and one of the scariest parts is this person is who he gets his news from. Too. It's one of the people he gets Ooh. in for Laura Loomer. Oh, okay. It's one of the people he gets news from, which informs his takes like on the Haitians uh, yeah. that story, which we're about to get into as well. The migrants are walking off with the town's geese. They take in the geese. You know, where the geese are in the park, in the lake, and even walking off with their pets. My dog's been taken. My dog's been stolen. This can only happen. These people are the worst. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. First of all, <laughs> he's so fucking funny. I'm sorry. It's not funny it's because not, he's... Potentially gonna run the country. It's overtly racist, but just his delivery, the way he's casually talking about people. Yeah, like, bro. Like, do you, first off, did you hear the thing about JD Vance and what he said in regards to this on how like they basically will say these things as a dog whistle to the media to get more attention? Yeah, the I get what he was trying to say. It he, just came. He was wrong. trying to frame it like, oh, we we put the story on the map, we brought attention yeah. to the story, but, and then they pressed them back. They're like, well, there's zero evidence of this. He's like, well, our constituents said it was true. Yeah. Our constituents think they said they. they think it's true they didn't mm -hmm. say it. he didn't get first-hand reports he says he's he knows people that are concerned about haitians eating their pets yeah. i think what happened was because there are videos of haitians eating cats they saw that shit and ran with it but those are Amer haitian americans they're not immigrants eating cats and it was one was fucking lady like, there's yes yes uh, yes okay. there is one lady in ohio that i'm sorry that shit was the funniest thing i've ever seen in my life because they said <laughs> did you eat that cat <laughs> stand up put your hands behind your back Someone got rubber gloves. She's covering blood. So you have a right to remain silent on anything you say. Cannon will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney if you can't afford one. Won't be appointed to you at state's expense. You have a right to have that attorney present during any questioning. You have a right to stop answering any questions once they begin. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand? Smile for me. Smile with your teeth. Go like this. Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Get in there. It's ridiculous. But the video itself was funny. I'm sorry. He <laughs> said, Did you eat that cat? <laughs> she just has blood on her mouth with some furs. Like, 
No. <laughs> I didn't see that. I have to see this video because I don't know anything about this. I, I, I would very want to fact check this. I got to find it. it. I'm going to post it um, in here because that shit was having dying. Like, um, yeah, mm. that shit is, is that's out here. And, but it's in that town of Springfield. There's been no police reports of that happening. There's no. been the, the mayor of the town said that's that's uh, the manager of the, t- of the city said there's no evidence of that happening. Mm-hmm. And it just happens to be all a uh, fake story. So. <laughs> I mean, listen, at this point, we've already seen their campaign. It's by any means necessary from getting shot in the ear to cats to getting shot again or an assassination attempt again. It's, it's just what he's going to do, and he's going to stoop yeah. to any level. And um, the, the videos of him and Laura Loomer being awfully close. We have a, one clip on Twitter of, uh, of him, Trump, blowing a kiss to her, as you can see here. And there's other clips of uh, of them being super close together, like stomach to stomach, yeah. his hand around her. And the question also is, where the fuck is Melania? Melania has been gone for she hasn't been on this campaign. She made one appearance the entire campaign mm-hmm. uh, at like an earlier uh, earlier event he was at. Well, but she's been out of the picture completely. And the word is that they're no longer together. They're separated, yeah. so, which is totally fine. I'm not like going to I mean, if you mess with who you want to mess with. But the person you mess with is this right wing extremist, allegedly. Think about you it. Know? Think about it like this. Right. What's his entire campaign so far been around? Immigrants. Yeah. Who is Melania? Immigrant. immigrant that's a bad look you talking about haitians eating cats immigrants doing all this fuck shit Ma- meanwhile you married to an immigrant can't do that that's a, a bad a, look ukrainian immigrant of all Ukraine. bro you doing a science right now yeah, that's man. a bad fucking look the- y'all done made this whole thing about joe biden feeding ukrainian pockets and your wife is ukrainian mm. nah you need a racist by your side <laughs> yeah and that's what he got a conspiracy theorist lizard breathing racist yeah so uh, yeah a lot of the republican party you know it's bad when mm-hmm. Mar- i don't know if you know who marjorie taylor green is yeah she's, she's crazy one of the most extreme people in the in the, in the republican party she's saying laura rumor is too far if yeah. if the most unhinged person that's in government uh, uh on the in the senate is saying or Congress is saying that that's you know how you know it's a problem. Yeah. That's how you know it's a problem. When the crazy yeah. person in the room is telling you, "Hey, yo, you're wild, yo, you're wild, <laughs> you're like. wild." So yeah, it's that's they, a they have a check. whole beef on Twitter. And allegedly, from what I've been hearing, is that Trump is starting to maybe cut ties with her. So yeah. he probably seeing what she's saying. He's like, yeah. "Oh fuck!" Saying nine eleven was an inside job is you can't be patriotic and say that at the same time. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Like that, that's not something you should be just throwing out there casually, especially when you're. Someone of government, I wouldn't be shocked if Trump got a bunch of calls like, yo, you are fucking bugging right now. Yep. This woman is saying things that are are well over the line of what we would normally let you say. You and, gotta end this shit. And now uh, this is very alleged too, but uh-huh. uh from Milo Yiannopoulos on Twitter, yeah. who's who has been very close, a history Laura Loomer has been very close. There's uh there's rumors. I don't know how legitimate these are, so take this with a grain of salt. He was talking about basically how uh, she gave fellatio to Donald Trump. Yeah. And uh, Trump told her it was the greatest fellatio he ever had. How and does he know al- what and the also, greatest is? The, quote, the president doesn't really have that kind of sex anymore, according to those close with him, and certainly not with the mistress. It's almost exclusively blowjobs. So mm. that's the alleged news. Take it with a grain of salt. This ain't the most reputable source in the world, yeah. I admit. But that's what niggas do when they cheating because it's like, oh well, I only got some head. It's not that crazy. Yeah. But yeah. It's so like it's to move the goalposts. He's got this right wing demon topping him off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He he's doing everything to not win this. It was crazy. Election. She's 31. She don't look 31. Dude. She, she looks, looks older. Like, she looks like she yeah. got 50 surgeries in her face, but I mean, that's how it goes. Well, yeah. Tell us what you think, man. Yeah, <laughs> let us think, know, man. Do you think they actually have an intimate relationship together? Do you think uh, Do you think she's good for his campaign? Is this an L for him? Is this a dub? Let us know in the comments. All right, guys. Bye.